YTBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. And I decided to take a break from the fighters and really share this video with you guys. And, you know, if you have a loved one, if you have anybody that's suffering with some kind of disease, you know, let them listen to this video, guys. And let them listen to it more than once. Because, guys, this video, truth can set you free. Okay, truth can set you free. Guys, I'm going to talk about why people get sick. And I'm going right into the topic. People get sick, guys, because you guys have learned how to connect with man. And you've stopped connecting with nature. You see, connecting with man. What is connecting with man? It's very simple. Anytime you eat food that comes within within a package, you're connecting with man. Anytime you eat food from a fast food restaurant, you're connecting with man. Anytime you go to a sit-down restaurant, you know, and you eat the food, that's been fried, battered, and baked, and all this other stuff. Fried, battered, baked, and all kind of crumbs and crust. You're connected with man. Anytime you drink a bottled soda or, or anything, you know, that's just, that's, that's got so many other chemicals in it. When you read the ingredients box, you have connected with man. And you're sick because you've connected with man. That's why you're sick. Okay? There's no big secret. There's no, you know, conspiracy theory. There's nothing wrong with your DNA. You're sick because of the food that you've eaten in your body. And the food is not nature, okay? You, you are eating food made by man. You gotta start eating food made by God. Or you gotta start eating food made in nature. Okay? You gotta do it. See, years ago, I was told that, you know, I had an arrhythmia. And I didn't tell anybody in my family about this particular arrhythmia. I didn't, I just went to the doctor and got it checked out. And the doctor said, you know, you're normal. You're this, you're that. And I knew I wasn't normal. They said, in one day, you know, you might, it might, you might die in your sleep because of it. Now, to me, you know, I'm not one of those people I wasn't afraid to die, but it just wasn't, that's not acceptable. Okay? It just was not acceptable. And they said there's nothing they can do. They told me that that was completely normal, which I knew that that's not normal. Okay? So I did some research and looked up a, a guy named Dr. Sabi. That's S-E-B-I, Dr. Sabi. And he talked about, you know, connecting with nature. He said, Coach, you know, your problem is, man, you're not connecting with nature. He said, arrhythmias can be cured. You can cure those in a matter of 30 days. You know, I'm sitting here thinking I've had this for a lot of my adult life, and you're saying that I can, I can have it cured in 30 days. I mean, I've never heard of that. But he told me, connect with nature, and you can cure everything that ails you, if you connect with nature. Because he broke it down, he said, think about it, in the old days, did they have heart attacks and strokes, you know, in, you know, like, I don't know, like right around the 800s and the 900s and, you know, even in, in 1000. Did they have heart attacks, strokes, did they even have, which cancer even existed? And I told him no. There was no such thing as cancer and heart attacks and strokes. They didn't have those things back then. People back then died of natural causes or somebody killed them. But they didn't have these things in existence. Okay. Now, every time you turn around, you know, there's a, an episode of cancer. There's an episode of a heart attack. you got even animals now. Dogs and cats that's got diabetes. Dogs and cats having heart attack. I mean, man, it's ridiculous. The animals of the, of, of, of the world never got this stuff. And now, man, man, we have managed to make our dogs and our cats and our animals, we've managed to make them sick. Guys, I want y'all to look. What do the animals in the nature, in the wild, what do they do? They eat what's been provided for them instinctively. They don't go to a store and open up a package and start eating packaged foods. And it started to make sense why so many dogs and cats are sick. Because the dogs and cats are not fed in nature like they're supposed to be, like they used to be. They're getting fed out of packages. And if you got a cat or animal that's sick in your house, look at what you're feeding them. Animals are supposed to eat like we eat, in the raw. Or eat foods, you know, in their natural habitats. And we as people, we've stopped doing that. You know, we, we, we're, we're so convenient now. We're going to the fast food places. We're convenient. We're convenient. We're buying stuff in the packages. We are convenient. I stopped doing that. 95% of the food I eat don't come in a package. It's right from nature. And if I eat from a package, I read the ingredients and make sure it's something that my body can get rid of quickly. People... You got to understand something, okay? You have to understand. You have to understand that your sickness that you're dealing with, that, that nagging eczema that you still have on your skin, that, that's not by chance, people. 
It's not by chance and it doesn't just happen. That's just stupid. It's stupid to think that. Your food and what you put in your body is the ultimate underlying cause. And I don't care what some doctor tell you. I don't care what the, what your family member tell you. Oh, he just saying that. No, you need to eat what you want to eat because that's just running our family. That's stupidity. That's stupidity. Okay, that's all the way around. That stupidity. Okay, it's what you eat. And now looking at this right here on film, I was at a track meet yesterday. You know, and you know I took a photo of the guy's food. You know, it's a Bojangles plate, and man, it looked good. It looked real good. I mean, whew. I would have loved to have some of this, and it smelled good too. But look at all this stuff. Look at all the cancer, carcinogen, toxic poison that you see right here. I mean, guys, this is this is a norm now. This is a norm. You know, at athletic events like track meets, Bojangles chicken is a norm. Okay, you may see a couple of Subway sandwiches, which I think they're probably a little bit healthier for you, but still, they're almost just as bad as anything that you could eat. But people, this is what I mean. This kid that showed me this, he is, he's connecting with man. He's connecting with man. He is in, in union with man. And sooner or later, guys, if you eat this stuff regularly, if you eat it regularly, you will connect with man and you'll get a disease. You may, may come diabetes. You may get cancer. You may get a heart attack. You may have a stroke. Either way, you're going to connect to some kind of disease. If you continue to eat this way, how do you connect with nature? You eat what's in nature. When I go to a grocery store, guys, the first aisle I look is the produce aisle because that's where I'm going to cook most of my food from, the produce aisle. And I cut the vegetables off raw. I cut them raw. I cut them raw and, and I get them, I take them home and I steam them or I make salads. I do whatever. And people say, you know what, man, that's boring. That's nasty. I tell you what, though, it beats $500 a month in medication, which I was taking. See, it beats taking all those doctor visits. It beats that. I don't have to take a doctor visit. You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, hey, you know, I might be in great shape. I think I'm in better shape than what I was. I don't have doctor visits. I don't have to worry about medicines, okay? I don't have to worry about that because the stuff that's already grown is in nature. Nature has already provided our vitamin sources. Why do you think in the old age, you think, before vitamins were ever made, do you think people knew? Do you think people knew to take a vitamin E tablet or a vitamin C tablet? Nobody took that crap. You ate it. And if it was good enough for people who lived to be like well over 125 years old, I mean, if it was good enough for them, you don't think it's good enough for us now. It most absolutely is. Okay? It absolutely is. But you got to connect with nature. The raw fruits, the raw vegetables, the water, guys, that's connecting with nature. Raw fruits, raw vegetables, water, guys, that's nature. That's nature. That's in nature. They don't make up Datorade in nature. They don't make up Kool-Aid in nature. They don't steam. They, they don't have uh, iced tea in nature. Tea leaves grow, but they don't put a bunch of sugar in the tea. They don't have sodas in nature. They don't have hamburgers in nature. Guys, you guys have been misled. And I know some people are going to say, I'm oh, fine, I still do what I want to do. And that's, that's your right. But what I am telling you, and I'm explaining to you, is why people get sick. I even got, you know, an athlete. And, you know, she's been dealing with a type of arthritis. And, you know, at, at the age that you get that at, juveniles can get arthritis. This athlete kind of got it at age 12 and guys that's one of the most curable things that you can get rid of is arthritis it's so curable and people if you're dealing with arthritis you can cure arthritis you can actually cure it or you can suppress the symptoms where you can function on a daily basis okay all you got to do with that is you connect with nature but arthritis feeds off of sugar it feeds off of sugar and acid. It's an acidic disease. And because it is acidic, you must alkalize it. How do you alkalize acid? You alkalize acid by eating foods that are alkaline. 
Your green vegetables, your green leafy vegetables are the most alkaline food on earth. Your cucumber is the most alkaline food on earth. If you're eating these green vegetables and you're drinking water that's alkaline, spring water, alkalized water, you stop the fire. Disease is like a fire, y'all. It's a fire. And see, you want to eat foods that you're putting water on the fire all day. You don't want to just put a little bit of water, sprinkle here and there on the fire, because that's not going to get the fire down. You got to put water on the fire all day long, and you got to keep doing it day in and day out until your symptoms are suppressed and gone. But see, the fact of the matter is, guys, the parent, they don't want to help that kid connect with nature. And I said, you know, if you don't connect with nature, you're going to enjoy having this disease. And they looked at me and I said, you're going to have it. You're going to have this for the rest of your life if you don't stop drinking Gatorade, stop drinking these little uh, Kool-Aid drinks, stop eating these TV dinners that come inside the package, stop eating candy, stop eating chips. You're giving arthritis. You're, you're making arthritis known to your body. You give it to yourself when you eat that stuff. See, people, I talk to a lot of people, y'all, about this. And, you know, I have maybe one out of maybe 50 that will actually listen, they apply it, and they go get well. I have one out of 50 who would do this. The other 49 people, they choose to die or live with their sicknesses. And it's really, really so great, y'all, that I think that there's a chemical in the food that just won't allow you to do it. I think that there are some people who are so sick and tired of being sick, they just go through withdrawal and they deal with the consequences, but they get better. I'm serious. Guys, in the last two years, I've talked to over 500 people. 500. That's a lot of people coming to my gym and, and actually just sitting down with me and talking. And you know out of those 500 people, I, I can count. 500, y'all, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of sick people. Only five of those people actually listened and got well. Now let's do this. You know out of those 500 people, 61 of those people had a death, a premature death. 61. People, that's a lot of people dying from something that shouldn't kill them. And you know, out of the 61 people, 52 uh, of those people had a heart attack. Five of them had a stroke, and then the other people died from stuff from other diseases. And these are diseases, guys, that wasn't in existence three or four hundred, even 600 years ago. They weren't even around. And these are diseases that are curable. That they, they don't want you to know. They're curable. They are highly curable. People are curing these diseases every day, y'all. They're curable. But the thing of it is, you're not going to cure something with man helping you. Why do you think a drug has never cured anything? Drugs and drugs ain't cured anything. Drugs have never cured one single solitary disease. All drugs do is they suppress the symptoms, y'all. And when you take a drug, you ain't curing. You're not getting to the root cause of it. You're suppressing symptoms. Why people get sick? It's real simple, y'all. People get sick because we're not connecting with nature. Okay, think about some of these animals that live in the wild, like deer. Yeah, have you ever really seen a deer that's overly sick? I mean, if you ever looked at nature videos, the deer is always running around. You know, I mean, feeding on grass. They're doing what their nature ha has intended. I'm talking about animals of the wild. We're not talking about these house pests that y'all pests that y'all use. If you put your animals back in the wild, you put your dogs and cats back in the wild, really where they belong. I bet you they'll stop being sick, whatever they had. You don't see any deer sick. You don't see any lions. They're not sick. They're healthy. They're lean. They have muscle mass, and they're going around doing what they're supposed to do. But many of you, you'll go to a doctor. You'll let them diagnose you. You'll let them give you a drug, and you'll let them give you a drug that'll cause something else to happen. But you'll go home, and you'll still eat the food of man, and you'll happily do it, knowing the consequences in the back of your mind what will happen if you eat a lot of certain things. And that's just the way that is, okay? Um, people, you know, I'm not here to scare anybody. It's not anything scary. It's really good information. You can cure your own self, guys. You don't need to wait to the doctor for him to cure it. You can cure it yourself. You just got to connect with nature, guys. Connect with nature. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.